Good evening. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done a video, but uh, just uh, figured I'd go ahead and do a little something. I was stepping over the fence so uh, outside here earlier uh, with my ash bucket from my uh, my wood stove, <laughs> and I uh, uh, I went head over heels, uh, caught my pants on a on a fence post, tore them up pretty bad. Uh, I'm fine. I did take a little tumble there. Shoulders, uh, eh, ain't nothing broke, but uh, I, I I feel it a little bit, but I'm fine. So anyway, uh, tore the hell out of my pants, <laughs> and I uh, said, "Oh, okay. Well, now I've got some good uh, uh, good stuff here. We'll make some char cloth. <laughs> we'll turn this negative into a positive." So I uh, got in the house, changed my clothes. Got my knife out and everything, and I cut a whole st one leg up of my uh, of my blue jeans. There should be 100% cotton, and we're gonna check that out here in, in a minute. Um, so I cut that up into some uh, I don't know two by three inch patches, and what I do is I use an Altoids tin. I've got my my wood stove going in the other room. And that's usually the only time I make uh, char cloth is in the winter time when I've got my wood stove going. I just kind of crack the door open. I got a good bed of hot coals in there. And uh, I'm going to show you here in a second how I do that. Uh, so anyway, I take an Altoids tin and I, I, I take a, a, a good stack of, uh, of this uh, material. Uh, I also use these cosmetic, 100% uh, cosmetic rounds. They make some really nice char cloth also uh, because they are 100% cotton. Um, uh, Egyptian cotton rope also makes some good, what they call a uh, charred lamp wick. And that's what we have here. This is a piece of uh, half inch uh, uh, copper tubing, about th two, three inches long, just long enough to fit into a, an Altoids tin. And uh, I, I braid it uh, just, you know, with about uh, about nine uh, strands of, uh, of the cotton rope. Got to make sure it's 100% cotton. And uh, then what you can do with this is push that out, pre-char it, and that will catch a spark wonderfully. Anything that's 100% cotton and already pre-charred, and then you can uh, you can strike that with a ferro rod or a flint and steel, and you'll get a nice ember there. You can just stick that right up into your your uh, your bundle, blow it into a flame. When you're done, you just simply pull that back down into the tube. It will self extinguish, and you 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 know you got to keep it dry. A number one when you're talking uh, flint and steel. Uh, char cloth, you've got to keep this stuff dry. That's the key. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you that. <clears throat> and I keep one of those in my kit. So anyway, uh, I cut up uh, some denim, which is should be 100% cotton. I put it in my Altoids tin. And here I have a, uh, this I think was a, a piece of welding rod. I am a welder by trade. This is a piece of uh, steel TIG rod, and I made a little handle, and I, I fashioned it so that it will uh, go around my Altoids tin and hold it securely. And then with this, I can just slide this right into my wood stove, right into a good hot bed of coals, and just crack the door so I still have my good draft. I'm not smoking the house up. Uh, don't burn your house down. <laughs> A number one, don't burn the house down. Uh, leave it in there for a good long time until uh, you know it's going to smoke and, and flames shoot out of the side of the tin. There's no reason to put an extra hole in it. There's enough ventilation uh, for that to happen. So I'm, I haven't opened this yet. The, the other key is is to let it cool. Do not open this until it is cool. To, I can hold on to this. So now. Gonna slide this uh, this wire off, 
and I'm going to inspect to see how good of a char we got on this uh, on this cloth. If I can get this thing off of here, and uh, and then I want to see if it'll take a spark real quick. On there, pretty tight, so I'm going to take my little pliers here and loosen that up. Okay, okay, and that's that's what my Altoid tin holder looks like. Okay, just a little hook on there, just enough to where you slide your Altoids tin in there and hold it, so that you've got something to put it into your coals and to be able to pull it back out. Maybe flip it over and give it a good cook. Okay, so let's see what this looks like here. Okay, there's the denim. This is what it looked like when it went in, and this is what we've got now. So, I'm going to take a piece of this off the top right now. Okay, and okay, it's a little bit, well, it got a good char. It did break, but it's still fairly. Uh, flexible. I pulled on it a little bit too hard. So I'm going to go ahead and just fold that over. Okay. I've got a, a, a good, one of my good steels right here that I've, uh, I, I, I do a little forging too. And uh, let me see if I can find me a piece of uh, flint here. Or uh, I've got a piece of chert. I have a piece of chert here. Okay. I have a whole collection of steels. So we're going to lay that, I think right about like that. Okay. Lay that right on top of your, uh, of your uh, flint or your chert. And uh, see if we can't. Got it. Okay, so that was my test. So now I know I've got 100% cotton. Got a real nice ember going there. I know that those blue jeans were 100% cotton. And now if I need to, I can burn my fingers. So, hang on a second. Let me grab an ashtray because I didn't do that. So, once again, there's your char cloth. Now, you can do that with some punk wood uh, and, and other type of uh, material. Let me pause this for a second and I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Got uh, interrupted there. Dinner is about ready. And uh, so that's how I make my char cloth. And this looks like it's going to be a really good batch. And I'll, I'll I'll do you know quite a few more batches tonight before I uh, turn in, and uh, just some good blue jean material. Don't throw them blue jeans out if they're all wore out and uh, or pull a bonehead move like I did tonight and get caught on the fence uh, taking the uh, ashes out from the uh, uh, from the wood stove and <laughs> take a good tumble. Uh, yeah. I decided, hey, time to make some char cloth. Cut them up in some nice patches. And uh, I don't know. I put, uh, let's take it, I'm going to take this out of my tin. Okay. And it looks like it got a real, a real nice char. And I've got, uh, I don't even remember how many I put in here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, I don't know, about ten pieces. And I will wrap this in aluminum foil. Uh, about ten or twelve pieces at a time. I like to just do batches of about that much. And uh, put that in uh, some nice tin foil. And uh, then I'll do another batch. So, anyway, this is Char Cloth 101 tonight. And I uh, hope 
you got a little something out of this with uh, uh, maybe my little my little holder here and it doesn't have to be welding wire it can be just an old wire coat hanger you just get make that so that it'll uh, so that your 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 Altoids tent will fit around it it's got a little hook up here so that it doesn't just spring open and uh, so you can see that a little bit better okay and I just gives me enough room to slide that into the fire my wood stove and let it do its thing give it a flip let it do its thing take your time when you're doing this like I said don't burn the house down and uh, and, and you can make yourself some nice charcoal so don't throw them old blue jeans away uh, this is Sven from Common Sense Survival. It's the first video I've done in quite a while. Uh, hope to see you guys again here soon. Uh, we'll try to get back into uh, sharing some of the skills and knowledge of uh, bushcraft and uh, and survival uh, that I've learned over the years uh, with you and your and yours. And uh, hope you got a little something out of this. So thank you. Um, I've put this on a few of the websites, and uh, it's getting uh, well. It's uh, December fifteenth, about ten days till Christmas. So for those of you who may not be on my friends list or what have you, uh, Merry Christmas. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Wish you and yours uh, all well for the for the new year. Once again, Sven here from Common Sense Survival. Thank you for watching. Please like and share. And uh, until we meet again, my friends, as they say in the ham radio uh, uh, community also, seven threes.